Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I have had a request from Joan who lives in the UK. Joan was beside herself because she was asked to do a fully wired laurel wreath for a memorial in her um, village or town or wherever it is that it's to go. She didn't know how to go about it and she requested, she's asked if I could share how to do it. So I thought, you know what? This is a great time for us all to just go back in time to how we used to do these wreaths. Look, you could use polystyrene, but that's not eco-friendly and they actually don't last. This is what they look like. Very easy. And these, years ago for motor racing, you would, uh, somebody winning a race would wear one of these for on a cenotaph and Memorial Day, one of these would be placed. Students all throughout the world who are receiving marvellous things would have one of these. For honour, it's a beautiful skill to know how to do and it is really quick and easy. Now the issue I had was I couldn't get up the tree to get the laurel leaves. So what I've done is I've used magnolia. Now you're gonna need lots of laurel or lots of magnolia. You could also do them out of, use any kind of strong glossy leaf. It, camellia would be just as good. But the great thing about the laurel is it's sort of like the front is like the back. But what I love about this is that you've got this lovely bronze color on the back, which will be just beautiful. So let me just get everything that we need and I'll talk you through how quick and easy that, actually quick and easy is not the right word. That's a bit of a lie actually. They're very time consuming, but I've taken, the skills that I learned in the 70s and I've brought it into the 21st century and my way is so much easier and I wish I'd known about this all those years ago. One moment and I'll be back. With a clean surface, you will need some laurel leaves, some camellia leaves or magnolia leaves, whatever you, you can lay your hands on. You're going to need small, medium and large leaves which we'll get to in a moment, and you'll also need some wire. Now, this is a fully wired traditional wreath, so we're going to be using all wire. Okay, so here I've got some 20 gauge wire. 20 gauge is probably about the best gauge because it's still got to be strong enough to withstand the elements, it, to, if it's going to be worn. This is the right weight, so that's 20 plus. You'll also need a guide wire, and this is about a, a 26 gauge wire, which I'll show you how to use that in due course. And you'll need a couple of cable ties, and you'll need your scissors. Now don't be thinking, oh well look, I'll just break all the leaves off. What you need to be doing is to be cutting the leaves off and you don't want too much for if you rip that off you're going to have this little sort of lumpy bit down there and we don't want one of those wee lumpy bits at all we want a nice clean line and you need maybe a centimeter of stem at this stage so cut all of those off and the other thing is to bear in mind that people will be seeing this so if you've got a leaf that's got little wee not nice bits, you know, the elements have got to that. We don't want any leaf that's like that. And you want your leaves to be quite, to all pristine, perfect, and nice and flat. That there, when you use it, would just, you'll, I'll show you in due course why you don't want to be using something like that. So as I said, you, and see this one here, see how that there's all a bit sort of... Okay, are you ready? Because this is a very lovely job to do. Now you can do this, about a week in advance as long as you cover it which I'll show you how to do in due course. To begin getting your wire and we need to wire some of our leaves. Now there's several ways of wiring. You can go come up to a third of your leaf and then insert the wire in either side of the main vein of your leaf and then take that through, bring that down like so, holding it with your finger there and twisting that around. Now you'll now understand why we took 
cut that little that little nodey bit there. Can you see that little nodey bit there? If you don't cut that off, what will happen is when you're wiring, you'll just have this extra big thick bit down there, which actually is just going to make your whole completed wreath look really thick and clunky underneath. So just cutting those bits, as I said, just cut all those bits off. So that's one way that you can wire it and then you won't see the wire on the other side and you can bend and manipulate that. However, I actually don't like to wire that way when I'm doing something like the wreath. I like to get in your leaf and then get your wire come down, uh, come up the stem about a good inch and then press that the wire down and then twist your wire around. Now by doing this you've got a support on this side of the leaf and you've got a support on this side of the leaf so that it bends and you can manipulate it much much better than this way here because sometimes what will happen is with the wires on the both sides like that you've only got the strength of the leaf that or that main vein of the leaf going through there and sometimes when you twist it that can actually rip through like so. So if you do it this way, it's just a much better safe, for me, it's just a little bit safer and it's good to have that extra bit of support because you need to have the support on both sides of the leaf. Now, when I was doing my training, every single leaf was wired. Well, I've just decided that we do not want to be spending all day wiring. So what I have done, we'll start with the smaller leaves first, getting two, getting the two, three leaves and putting them together like so, so that you've got one in the middle, one to the left and one to the right, getting your 20 gauge wire, pressing that through all of the leaves. So I've come through this leaf, this leaf and that leaf and the wires on the through the front and through to the back and then just twist and wire those down. So instead of having three pieces of wire, you've only got one piece of wire and also it's taking out a little excess weight because the wire, even you know, when you think about it, all that much wire, when you don't need all that, you can get rid of a third of your wire, which is also cost effective as far as I'm concerned. Okay, getting rid of those, let's do that again. So as I said, you're gonna need small, medium and large leaves. Put those over like so, holding them in your hand, and then you can just sort of like visually gauge to make sure that you've got all of your leaves all together. That goes down there. Bring that around like so. Use your thumb as you sort of like a little vice and then just twist those over like so. We'll do the next slot. Now, getting to what I said about the leaves, if the leaf has got like a little, see that there how it's got, it's not sitting flat and it's all a bit curly. We want this to be lying flat. So anything that's curling up like that, just get rid of those. So we'll have one to there. Now that one there isn't as perfect either. It's got all those wee ridges down there. That there when you put it together see what it's going to do it's going to it's going to fall down but you're going to visually see that and it's going to continue curling so anything like that just get rid of that like so put that to there that to there and if you are new to wiring, what I suggest you do is just have lots and lots of little practicing. And by holding this in with your hand or just a little bit more of your thumb, when you twist that wire around, it's actually going to help to keep that all together. We'll do that again just to keep going over it. There's another leaf that's, that isn't sitting flat. And even when you try to, to straighten it out, what it's going to do is it's going to it's all going to just sort of like rip apart and we don't want anything like this because just remember that this is going to be seen so just remember that visually it needs to be looking good so getting rid of that another that leaf there that leaf there see that there's got that was that one that's twisting we don't want that that's got a twist in it ah that's nice and flat so we'll use that one using your wire twisting the through now the other thing i want to just tell you is be very careful when you're stabbing that through that you don't stab your finger because 
a stab from a wire into your finger is not a nice thing. Okay, let's just do that again, that to there, and I'll bring another one to there like so. Making sure that you've got no little thick bits. If you have, just clip all those thick bits off, but make sure that you've, still, you've got all your stems are about the same length. Oops, that's a bit of a thick wire. We don't want 18 gauge, we want 20 bringing that through to there, bringing that through again, holding it, and it's just a couple of twists around and down, and you don't really need very much wire here too. About an inch is all you're really going to need. Okay, now you're going to need small, medium, and large lots of leaves done into threes. Plus, you're also going to need just a few single leaves. Now, you, and I'll show you what these are going to be used for in a moment, and I'll just do another one of those. That bit of wire there, I keep grabbing. Now, this here's got it, that leaf there has got a little bit of a crack in it and a rip. We don't want anything like that, so just get rid of those, and you can do a final sort of like visual as you're just wiring your leaves. Put those all into, sh into a wee pile. Here's another one. In fact, I'll do two. I'll do two together. We actually only need singles. In fact, no, don't do that. We need singles. We don't need that. We've got enough doubles. Okay, so just keep going until you, you've got more than what you think. And I can't tell you whether you're going to need 20, 50 or 100 leaves because it's going to depend on how long your wreath is going to be. And if it's for a horse that's won the derby, the derby or the derby or whatever it's called, or it's a racehorse that's won something else that's, that's really, you know, like victorious and full of honour and all the rest of it, you're just going to have to, to guesstimate how many you're going to need. Okay, to begin, let's just look into the wiring. Years ago, we, as I said, we used to wire everything singly. So look at all of this here. Everything's wired singly, and you've got all of these wires in here. Don't need all of those wires. See all of that? And you can see that by wiring them, I've actually got, I've got the support, and I can be the manipulator and the builder and the constructor of what we're going to do. So that there is just fantastic because we're going to get rid of all of those wires which I think is wonderful. To begin, you need one piece of the same wire that you've used and what you're going to do with that is you're going to build, turn that over on itself like so and just do a little twist like that. We want, because this here is going to be like a little hook and it's going to come together like a hook and eye. So that's going to be your first wire which is your gauge wire. Starting with, or your support wire or your frame, starting with your smallest lot of leaves, put that on the top and then come down a little bit and put another one beside that like so. Getting your thin guide wire, just push that through your leaves like so. Be very careful you don't get your fingers. Pull that down like so. Bring that down while holding those together and use this wire here to twist around to bind those all together and leave it to the side like I've done there. Now when you turn it over, you're seeing there's your guide wire, there's your first lot of small leaves, there's your next lot. Now you can see the workings, we want to hide the workings, and this is when you can use a single leaf and just put that on the top and then just twist that guide wire around and have it so that you, so that's clean, covered up all of that working there and then you've got this nice flat this surface at the back here with just the one wire picking through. So that's actually just all we're really doing with that is using that as a backer. Okay, from there the next thing to do is to put another lot of leaves into there. Bring your guide wire down and just turn that around like so. Now you can see that I've got a few, you can see the back of my workings, don't worry about that yet. Put your guide wire to one side, bring that down on top of that, bring that wire around and then just twist to make that nice and tight, turning it around and there we have our stems. Now I want to go right back to the beginning and say, tell you that the reason we're using the guide wire is for this reason here. So there's my little leaf there. 
and then we're going to put, I'll oh, use the bigger leaves because it'd be easier to see. So you've got your, your first leaf, then you've got your next leaf there, and then if you, you can twist it, and then the next one goes on, and you can twist that, and what will happen is, this here, as you get further down here, this will all get to be really, really thick and not very neat and tidy, whereas when you see this, this here's all neat and tidy in there. Well, it's not neat in it yet, but it will be when we're finished. So, and also, you're gonna be left with this nice stem that's gonna come all, it's just gonna be nice and flat. It's gonna get a little bit thick, and, and this here will just make sure that you've got this nice, even consistency of a guide wire and a structure of your wires. This here, um, the, it, it, it's just not a really neat way of doing it. And see what I mean here by all those, to see those twisted wires in there? That's what we want to try and eliminate because that, with all your stems, all your wires, all nice and straight, with just a little bit of a twist, is gonna be much, much better. Okay, so keep it, you keep going, and then the next leaf, put that on top of there. I need to get another guide wire, so just getting your guide wire, just push that through like so, bring that down, and then just twisting that around to keep that nice and straight. And, with the, the, the stems the way that they are, you can, you can just like get in there and just give it a really good tug. Okay, the next one to go in is going to be a bigger leaf. So pretty much what you're doing is you're starting with the smaller leaves and then as you come up, you're just going to get more and more leaves. So bringing that guide wire down, twisting that around there and then to cover those stems there just using another leaf like so and this leaf here's got a, a few blemishes on it doesn't matter because you're not going to see it anyway there's your guide wire give that another twist like so and as you're going just make sure that all of those wires there are all nice and straight and then when you look into it so the other thing I like to do is when I'm doing it is just like get into there and just push that down like so so that you've got nice and neat and tidy nice neat and tidy and as you work your way through it now it's going to have two sides I'm all over the place but You'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So once you've done that, that much, then do the next bit, this bit over here, and then just make sure that you're using the same shaped and size leaves all the way up. Let me show you. Getting rid of all of this. Here we are, okay. <laughs> I am a little bit all over the place, but I'm not really all over the place. Okay, so that's, this here connects in with this side, and then you just keep going until we reach this part here, which I'm now going to explain to you. Does this all make sense? I hope it does, because it'll all make sense in a moment. Right, one moment. Okay, so this is the left side of my horseshoe or my wreath. This is the right side of my wreath, like so. And you can see that the sizes here and the sizes here are all pretty much the same. Now, to create the bit, this bit here at the top, this is what you do. When you get this to a determined length, the next thing to do is to remember whether you're going left or right, so I'm going left at this stage, is to bring your leaves in. So we want it to go out so it's going to sweep across so getting your guide wire putting your leaves i don't just go through there bring that down oh getting that bit of wire there just holding those and then bringing that to there in fact you can go down through there that to there like so bring that out like that bring your guide those wires down like so and then where you've gone from your smaller leaves and then you've drifted up to your bigger leaves that's when you can start to do exactly the same as well taking that through to there like so bringing that around like that, bringing that wire down. And if you need to, just give that a little twist now to make sure that that is nice and firm. 
and then you'll see that as I've done that, those leaves have all just covered up my workings. If you can still see any kind of wire there, just use a single leaf and then just push that underneath. And it's quite, it's much easier to go down from the top, just as if you were doing a, oops, wrong way, as if you were doing a wired bouquet. In fact, to this one, I'll just take that through there like that. And that can just go into there like that. And then because we've got the wire on that leaf, we can bend and manipulate that to go to the way that we want it to go. And as I'm looking into there, I'm just thinking, ah, I know what we need. We need another one in there like so. So what I'll do with that one there is I'll just bring that into there and then that can go to there. And then I've lost my guide wire, so making sure, as I said, that your guide wire is always out the side of your workings. Okay, so you now need to, so that's your left side, and you now need to repeat it on the right and just bring those leaves, just lay those leaves all the way into the center, getting rid of that. Okay, the next thing to do is once you've reached the end or the length that you want, the next thing is to bring those together like so. Pretty cool and groovy, isn't it? I know it's a bit messy the way that I've gone about this, but I could not see any other way of doing it. Right, with your guide, getting your guide wire, now just go along there and look at, look, all of those wires, and I've just, I'm left with this really, really nice, nice, neat, neat stem or structure. Taking that around there like so. Getting your scissors and your bin, we're now going to cut off a good two inches of wire, or to be, cutting that off to be left with two inches of wire. And if you need to, you can just sort of like take all of those in like. So you don't need this, to, want this bit here to be too long. Cut that bit off. And then I'll just give this a little strength in that bit as well. Just twisting that around and down, cutting those wires off. Be very careful of eyes because wire in the eye would not be very nice. Okay, from there, the next thing to do is to get some floral tape. Keep, you might need a few leaves, so don't get rid of those at this stage. Just getting your floral tape whipping off a, a portion of that and then the next thing we're going to do is to just bring that floral tape down over to cover all of those wires. Now by using the tape not only does it cover your workings it also gives you a nice neat clean structure and if this is to be worn on a person or around a horse or a whatever it's going to be placed on it's nice to just cover up all of those workings and if there's any kind of, if you can feel any kind of little bit that might be a bit sharp just take that off like so and then just take that back on itself and the great thing about this tape is this waxy tape is it actually sticks to itself make doing the same on this side here taking that round it's a bit fiddly this stuff but you know, you get in the drift. Just take that around there like so. I've seen the, the Queen lay these on memorials. I've seen them on church doors. They use them for D-Day, for Memorial Day, all sorts of occasions. You don't get, I don't get called to make many of these, but at least I still remember and at least I can share with you guys and it's there for life so that everybody will know how to make it. Right, from there, that, with those leaves there, you just push that, I'll go this way, that just gets pushed down through and into there like so, and then with my cable tie, getting your cable tie, where those two join together like so, you're gonna, there's going to, you've got your one underneath, I'll show you, you've got that one there, and you've got that one there, and we don't want it to be seen on this side, so just lifting some of those leaves up, getting your cable tie, which is the right side, there it is there, and then just taking that, and years ago we used to have to wire these, and oh, I tell you what, it was always a, a moment or two that I had that, oh, I hope it stays, I hope it stays and it doesn't come off, just cutting that off like that, solid as a rock, 
and then into here you can just lift these leaves like so so that they all come up out and across and then this is when the next great thing is getting another leaf turning that in half like so and you can either wire these or you can cheat the system and you can so you just want a little wee folded bit there oops where's another one this one now as I said, make sure that the leaf hasn't got any little ridgy bits on it because those ridgy bits are going to be visually seen. So here's a bit here, I'll just use this, one of these leaves here. This one, this is the one I want. Oh, the other thing I forgot to tell you is make sure that all of your leaves are nice and clean. Just take that off there and then bend that over. Turn that across like that, take that down turn that around like that and then this is when you have to be really clever and you can just put those leaves in where's the other where's that other one i just wired and these can just be pressed down and into here and then with that little extra bit of wire you can just push that into there like that and then this and just be moved around to there and then getting that other one just twist that oops what have I done hold on, hold on perhaps I should do it properly take that down there like that and that around there making sure that none of your wires stick out cutting those extra bits there off and that covers up your workings and then down the base here, where you had that little wee loop there, the little loop on this side here, you just bring that through and then just like a hook and eye. Ta-da! I know it was very messy and I was all over the place, but there was a lot of work involved in this. In honour, we all bow to the traditional wired laurel wreath. I feel like a motor, race, a motor racing driver or a, somebody that's just done something that's just monumentous. I hope this has been of assistance. Joan, any requests? Nothing is an issue. Just send through anything that you'd like some help with, especially with this traditional stuff. See you again another day. Oops, I nearly forgot to share how to keep these so that you, and I said that you could do these days in advance. Right, you can do all your leaves in advance, wire those and get a piece of plastic or cellophane and then you can get a couple of pieces of newspaper and where are my leaves? Here's some leaves here, here are some leaves, right? So here's all my leaves, all wired, all in their little piles, then you can just miss that miss the leaves, miss the paper and the reason I've got the cellophane underneath is to just, it acts like a, little, like a plastic bag or it just acts, it means that the surface doesn't get any kind of damage on it, the moisture doesn't go through and it sort of acts like a nice seal. So once you've done that, spray your paper and then you can just cover it and just mist the paper every couple of days. So the more you can do in advance, the better. Okay, when it comes to store, once you've made your wreath and to keep it pristine, nice and fresh, exactly the same thing happens again. Getting, spray the whole thing with water because leaves take up moisture up their stems and through their leaves and this will just keep everything all nice and fresh. Get another couple of pieces of newspaper miss those, put this into a cool place and leave it until the day of the celebration or whatever your wreath is being used for. Ta -da! That's all I want to say about keeping the fruits fresh for another day. See you again.